Tomorrow I have another appointment. It's a cardiology appointment just to basically check my heart. <coughs> to make sure that my heart can manage this pregnancy. Which we're praying to God that my heart can because we're 20 weeks in. So, at this point, got to see it through. Hi all, welcome back to my channel. We're 19 weeks and quite a few days today, 20 weeks in a couple of days, maybe two or three days. We're going to be 20 weeks and we're going to our 20 week anatomy scan. I'm ready and this is what I'm wearing. Black leggings, this pink sweatshirt. God, I'm grateful that I had bought these leggings that are able to go like all the way over the bump and they're okay. And this one, I've worn it so much. It's nice and stretchy where it's like not too tight over her. And so that's great. I'm a little bit nervous about this scan because I know that they do check for a lot of things and I just want to make sure that baby is in good health and most importantly I want to make sure that baby is actually a girl when we go today. I want to see if I have the same ultrasound lady. I'm like, ma'am, what are you going to say to me after you done told me that this baby's a boy? But don't buy anything. We need to talk and I'm going to see if babe wants us to pop into Ikea and just look at some things that I had seen online because Ikea is literally right there. So. We're gonna see how that goes. Um, hopefully we find good parking where we're able to do that because parking in that area is always quite a spectacle. But um, yeah, I'm pretty much ready to go. I have me some Hershey's Kisses with me that way. Um, by the way, it's today's February, Monday, February 13th. So the day before Valentine's Day, tomorrow I have another appointment. It's a cardiology appointment just to basically check my heart <coughs> to make sure that my heart can manage this pregnancy, which we're praying to God that my heart can because we're 20 weeks in. So at this point, got to see it through. But um, yeah, it's also going to be telehealth. It was supposed to be in person, but I'm glad it didn't work out to be in person because that place was so far. It's all the way in Long Island and I can't even. So hopefully when I get to schedule in person again, I'm able to do it on a Monday where Mr.'s off. So we can drive there and I don't have to worry about how I'm getting there and getting back because it's long. But um, yeah, I'm just going to pop my Uggs on. Last night I wore the moccasin hugs, like the loafer hugs that I showed you guys some time ago. But I don't feel like wearing that right now because last night when we were coming home, like it got so much colder and like my eye couldn't even. I mean, maybe I could still. I don't want to wear that. I don't want to wear that. I could also wear some harachis. I could wear the, you guys, I'm officially at that stage in the pregnancy where it's just like, you know, I'm going to wear the harachis. I'm going to wear the hugs. You see, I'm all over the place, but. Uh, so what we're going to wear. I'm officially at that stage in the pregnancy where it's comfort over absolutely everything else. I want to be comfortable. Last night when we were getting ready to go to like a little get together. Um. I'm not going to wear those socks because they're not working out. I was wearing these little slip-ons. When we're getting ready, Mr. was like, do you want to just wear one of my sweatpants? Because he saw the grand old time I was having of like finding something to wear. Damn, these Uggs are hard to put on. <sighs> not even finding, but trying to find something to wear and being so stressed out because everything that I find that I already own, because I haven't bought any maternity clothes, they... Just look funny so nine times out of ten i always end up in leggings and a big shirt and honestly i'm getting to the point where even my bigger shirts are like young like i said thankfully this is high waisted i'm gonna have to go move on to his things soon and very soon i can already see a comment i mean i used to wear his things quite some time already so like whatever but yeah um i'm ready to go i have to pee before i leave because god knows that's a thing and um, yeah, hopefully I'll pop back in afterwards. We'll see. <clears throat> Let me show you guys that outfit. Wait. Hi guys, the bump dates have been in the mirror for a while. Specifically because one week I was sick, another week I was sick. The week before that I was a little lazy. The ones that have been in the mirror just have been 
easier, quicker, and lazier, to be completely honest, because I don't have to do this whole setup. But we are 17 weeks. 17 weeks of baby. I just ate earlier. But I'll tell you one thing for sure. Like, this week, baby is looking a little bit smaller because I was sick for two weeks and then um had no appetite and so now we're we're kind of getting over that but not really so um yeah i frequent urinate <laughs> i'm experiencing frequent urination i'm back to being so tired and so wiped out i feel like i have to sleep for nine hours so i've been coming home in the mornings and sleeping from like eight or nine to like five or six or you know, excuse me, I'm not complaining because um, I feel like I need that. We need that. But um, sometimes when that happens, I just feel like I'm either not as productive or something. Yeah, I feel like I'm definitely at the point now where I'm showing like people are able to tell. I have the thing underneath. You know, when you're looking at the bump what is that? I scratch that. When you're looking at the bump on its own, it doesn't really look like much. Or does it? I don't really know. <clears throat> I, I'm wearing my pants down here. This one I could wear over. But after a while, it starts bothering me. I think when I wear it over, it doesn't really look like much. Or does it? <laughs> Obviously, I don't really know. Over, under, really, whatever I feel like. I love these pants. I'm going to be able to wear them for a while. I don't know how long. The only thing I'm experiencing right now is the frequent urination and sleeping all the time. So tired. My head hurts. Oh, I'm, we're experiencing acid reflux or indigestion. That's not great. I have something for that. She said take one a day or two if you're feeling like it. So far I've been taking two because some morning ago I came home and I barfed so bad. It was just atrocious. Do not like that. But um, I'll tell that we're, we're fine. We have the hair out even though it's the winter time because I had it set up for my U-part and I just couldn't be bothered. So we have the hair out. Gender reveal is in two. I'm excited. I don't know. How do I feel? I don't know. What do I feel like baby is? I think my sister and my friends are trying to throw me off and baby might really be a boy. And the only reason why I'm saying that is because I told them that the lady said it looks like the baby is a boy. But I remember my sister saying, oh, you don't know what you're having when she found out. So baby could be a girl. Obviously could be a boy or a girl. Initially, I said I really did want a girl. I really still do. But if it's a boy, you know what, that's what it is. God gives you exactly what you need, exactly when you need it. So, um, I don't know. We'll see. Please ignore the fact that right now I completely look like a junkie. We're not going to bring any attention to that. <laughs> but I'm 20 weeks along and I figured... Um, now would be a good time to come and give you guys this bump date because at some point I'm going to be 20 weeks postpartum and I'm going to miss the baby bump and the baby is going to be here for real. And so this makes sense right now, right in this moment. This is what she's looking like. I don't know that in my last bump date I've confirmed that she's a girl, but she's a girl. And this is what she looks like. She's big now. She's hanging with the big girls now. And she is moving a lot. So much. And it's so reassuring. But like she's moving so much. Last night I was laying down. I ate, I ate three popsicles last night. My appetite is a bit off right now. In terms of like I could eat breakfast and I might not eat anything else for the rest of the day. Or I might just snack for the rest of the day after eating breakfast. But um... She, so yesterday I ate three popsicles and that was dinner. And I had eaten breakfast at about 10 or 11, somewhere there. But the girl is big. I can feel her down here, but I can feel her on this side and on this side at the same time. I think she's the size of a banana right now. Um, she's nine ounces. 
and yeah, she moves a lot, and I'm very grateful that she moves. Um, even though I feel like it's gonna terrify me if a whole day I don't feel her moving, but normally I could like tap her and I could feel her move. Last night while I was laying down, I was trying to see if I could see her moving on the surface, but. Hello, my little bunny rabbit. Wiki wiki. Wake up, popsicle girl. She doesn't want to be bothered right now. I just ate breakfast too, barely. But um, yeah, 20 weeks. 20 weeks with my girly pop. And this is what we're looking like. I think the last time I wore this dress, I was six, seven, or eight weeks, maybe nine. But um, yeah. The girl is growing. 20 weeks. God, she think you could have looked a little bit more presentable on here. I could have, but it's okay. We got a girly pop. Maybe when I lay down. <laughs> Better luck next time. Hi, y'all. I'm struggling. Okay, God, it's 841. I have a doctor's appointment. It's nine o'clock. It should be very quick because it's just a growth scan to see baby's growth, especially considering that my blood pressure is a little bit high. I don't really know what else I will get into for the remainder of the day, but for the most part, we're definitely doing that. This outfit is very recycled. The stopped black leggings and my Yeezys. And that's it for the outfit. But that's what we're going to be doing today. Put some care mics on. And we're ready to go. I made my bed and everything, so I'm glad I was able to do that. But I gotta go.